What's good, family? It's your man, the YB, back once again. Now listen, off the rip here. Let me say this, right now off the rip. Shields, she turned up tonight, and she did what she's supposed to do. However, this fight for me was at worst case a draw. I counted the rounds up, I had it 7-3 Savannah. That's just how I feel, yeah? And my personal way of doing things, I don't believe you can win a fight spending more than half it on the ropes. When you're pinned to the ropes for half the fight, how are you winning that fight? I don't get that one. Someone explain that to me. The same reason I believe Floyd lost to De La Hoya. Yeah? It's a fight. It's not tic-tac-toe. If you're... Physiologically, yeah? How can you how can you be winning something when you're, when you're backed up, pressed up against... I, I, I can't fathom that for the life of me. Yeah? Um, Shield, I mean, Marshall was pushing the fight. Marshall was the one marching forward. Now, I can't lie to you. I think, strategically, Peter Fury was very poor. And the reason I say that is, and it pisses me off because I was tweeting these guys all week here. If you're going to come marching forward, and fair enough, we know Savannah has this kind of loosey-goosey style, yeah? Great, it's worked on everyone else. However, I specifically said this, yeah? Loosey-goosey style, as long as it's working, great. But when you notice yourself getting popped, and to be fair, she, um, Marshall was riding most of the shots. I was shocked at the Sky coverage. I believe Sky is involved with some Cabal Dons, and this was some BLM thing, truth be known. That's how, that's how I feel. I feel like, at the sp I mean, before the fight, they were playing videos. Ah, uh, Clarissa Shields, she was, she had SA when she was young. I thought, what the, what the fuck, that got to do with anything? They were playing the video just before the fight. I thought, Arr. Yeah, oh, so, oh, so. for me it feels like a BLM thing. I ain't gonna lie to no one here. It feels to me like it's some next cabal on and it's some BLM thing, 100%. Yeah, the Queen won. Oh, the Queen. For me, yeah, it was a, a, a worst case a draw. A, absolute worst case. There's no, I don't care what no one says. There's no way she won that fight by like four rounds. What the fuck? He joking. He was under ropes for the whole fight. Now, with that said, in terms of who turned up tonight, Shields, for sure, did more of what she usually does. Marshall, for me, I think it's clear to some extent. Yeah, psychologically, she somewhat choked. That's the bottom line here. Why do I say that? Well, Marshall, she wanted it too much. You could tell she wasn't, in her fights normally, she's much more relaxed. She actually, for some reason tonight, she pushed forward more than she normally does. Normally, Marshall comes out, she has a look, and she methodically works forward. She looks for opportunities and takes them. Tonight, it was pure, just roaring. To, she wanted it. If it looked to me like she wanted it too much. And that enabled Shields. The work Shields did get off, it made it look ten times better. And them opportunities wouldn't have been there. And the thing is, I can't, again, the game plan for me. Number one, fair enough, yeah? I'm one of the, I'm one of the people who said, or, listen, my game plan would have been, listen, you're four foot, You've got four inches of height, four inches of reach. I'd have come out there like um, Klitschko Fury 2015. Let's go in there and keep it long and develop a more authoritative jab. Yeah? Just take what she's given. End of day, man. She's small. She's the one who's got to do the work. Instead, Marshall came out and was straight on the front foot. Now... A key thing I sent to the... Now, I'm not sure they saw it. And they probably wouldn't care even if it did. But I'm saying... One of the key things I sent to the team was... When you've got... I don't know. Me personally. When you're so much bigger than someone... Every fight, I'm at least going to try that. Especially in these clutch moments. Fair enough. When you're fighting these bums and you know you can just walk forward and get them out of there. Great. But for these clutch moments... I feel like... You don't want to be one dimensional. Yeah? Let's try a few things. In the first few rounds, let's try a few things and work out which is working best. So, for example, round one, Marshall tried the whole just walking forward with your hands down thing. I mean, who does? And again, I understand Marshall's style is hands down, but at which point do you say, I'm not even knocking the walking forward thing. Like I said, for me, the walking forward thing was a last, last chance option. But either way, I believe if you're going to walk forward, I've never, you tell me, in the history of boxing, who have you seen walk forward successfully with your hands down? It don't make no sense. Now, I get it, you can be loosey-goosey, but the point is, when you've got your hands up as well, it's a lot easier to, well, I think, me personally, I think it's a lot easier 
to think about the shots you're throwing. Sometimes these guys with low hands here, yeah, it's all kind of slappy because of where you're throwing it from. A key thing about power is where your elbow is. If you've got a caved elbow, you're slapping, yeah? If you've got that elbow up and you're whipping it round, see that see the difference there? Yeah? A lot of these low hand fighters, they're just and that's why I didn't like that's why I don't rate shields for the most part. For the most part, shields, it's all slappy, 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 slappy. Her elbow's caved in. When you whip a proper shot and you see that, you see how tight that is there? Mike Tyson style. You want the elbow up high. Now, like I said, when you got your hands up, in my opinion, it's it's more natural to turn over your shoulder. Yeah? So Shields goes in there, sorry, Marshall goes in there. Low hands applying pressure. Now, I don't care how good you are at head movement. Head movement with low hands is usually an evasive defensive mover, a uh, maneuver. Sorry, yeah. You drop your hands, and as you're pulling back, and when you're got, when you've got the kind of height, um, Savannah Marshall has, much like Tyson Fury, that low hands business is effective when you're pulling back and you're being defensive. You won't see Tyson Fury going forward. With his fucking hands down. Who does that? I'm, I'm thinking to myself, who does that? Look at, right, again, the walk forward style was possible for Marshall. And I respect her for, for going for it. The bottom line is, Marshall was setting about this chick from the rip. And that's ultimately why I believe she won. Yeah? Because if she hadn't have been pushing forward, I'm not sure what Shields would have been doing. You spent the whole, I don't know how you can win a fight spending it the whole night on the ropes. However, when you are going forward, there's a certain way of doing things. Look at Fury. When Fury decided to march down Deontay Wilder, when Fury decided to march down Cunningham, you didn't see him, hands down, trying to do all this rubbish. And even when and even when Fury does march forward with his hands up, you still get clipped. Yeah? But it's like, Marshall tonight looked one-dimensional. And to be honest with you, Shields did as well. I didn't see people talk about these adjustments. Bear in mind, Shields is supposed to be the one with super IQ. I didn't see the adjustments. I saw her just in there. She was, Shields was able to do what she did because of how bad Marshall was, in my opinion. Shields didn't win this fight. I don't care what no one says. There's no way Shields won this fight. Shields was a victim. She was a, a beneficiary of how lacking Marshall was, in my, in my opinion. Yeah, Because if Marshall had been there with her chin down and her hands up and proper winging shots, she'd have been, her goose would have been cooked, in my opinion. But unfortunately, a lot of the key things, and that's why I say ultimately, Marshall to some extent, whatever way you look at it, she had psychological failings tonight. Because the, the relaxed, the relaxed kind of attitude we've seen her have in the past wasn't there tonight. And a lot of the key elements that gave her the edge over shields that I've talked about, the height, the size, the power, um, the more pure work, she ended up, to be honest with you, Marshall ended up looking like a woman fighter tonight. I'm just telling you, call us better spade. Yeah, all of the fights I've seen Marshall performing up until this one, she'd been fighting like a man. Tonight, she fought like a woman. She's in there just slapping, slapping all over the place. Slappy. I thought, what the fuck? Calm down. Yeah, you don't have to always be going forward. And that's why I don't, ultimately, that's why I believe Marshall won. Or at worst, it was a draw, was because... You have to bear in mind, people, a lot of people say, oh, look at, look at the pot shots. Yeah, it's easy to pot shot when someone else is doing the hard work and moving forward. And that's why I was shocked tonight. There was another robbery. Mayer. Mayer versus a Baumgartner. Baumgartner didn't do anything the whole fight. Yeah? And then people say, oh, look at the counter punches. And I hate to break it to people, yeah, but most people who suck off, who suck off the, the pot shot in, yeah, they ain't never been in a fight before. That's my opinion. It's easy to pot shot when you've got people closing distance and taking the risk. That's risk. When you're closing distance, yeah, you're taking risk. You're assuming risk. And tonight, we've seen two bigger women. We've seen two bigger women. Um, um, uh, what's the, what's, um, not, is it Maya? Yeah, Maya. We've seen Maya and Marshall, the two bigger women, pushing the fight. If they weren't going forward, there wouldn't have been a fight. Particularly, not so much in... The Shields fight, to be fair, but in the Mayer versus Baumgartner fight, Baumgartner weren't looking to come forward at all. And I'm sorry, I don't... Me personally, you can't win a fight just pot shotting. Yeah? Because anyone could do that, in my opinion. Anyone can sit back and let the other person do the hard work and take the risk and just pick and choose. Who's pushing the fight? Who's pressing it? That said, I ain't gonna lie to no one. Marshall's work was very poor tonight. 
She wanted it too much and she turned all the things. That calm collectiveness was gone. It was all scrappy. I think she was putting way too much output. Look at Canelo, for example. If you're going forward, now I'm not going to lie, Canelo for me is too little. You got, There's a perfect balance. You want that balance between kind of like a prime AJ. AJ too much. He throw 50 shots in his gust. You want the balance. Canelo, he's too little. He'll put, do one massive pot shot and take half a minute to reset. You want that balance. Marshall tonight, there was no... Look, look how calm Canelo is. Cutting the ring off, hands up, method, methodical. Marshall was methodically walking forward, but what followed was she looked again. All the, she lost that class. She lost that highest... Up until this point, I've never seen a woman with offense as clean as Marshall's until tonight. She wanted it too much. She was too. Bo- it was almost like she couldn't wait to get her hands on shields, and in doing so, she was forcing it. She was over revving. In my opinion, I'd, in boxing, you don't never need to throw more than three shots at once. Never. Yeah. Think about the three shots you want to get off and apply them with strong technique. Don't be doing... That's another... Me, person. That's why I don't like rate shields. Shields goes in there and people suck it off and just flows and throws flurries. And I'm surprised, again, at Peter Fury's game plan. We know, or I like to think, I know, shields gets into flurries. At that point, what happened to tucking up and, and countering? What happened to that? I don't know. Shields is there, chin in the air, just going left and right, left and right. And Marshall, rather than having her hands up, that's the problem you see, it's all well and good slipping aside and with your hands down, but when you do that, you're in no man's land. Your balance is off, and you're just lucky to avoid the shots, rather than tucking up and looking to properly dig something off. So, yeah, Mar- um, Marshall didn't really take advantage of the holes Shields has. Bottom line. But then again. What did okay? What did what did what did Shields really do? Okay, Shields was able to punch in between Marshall pushing the pace, and yeah, Marshall was scrappy. But I'm not being funny. But Shields weren't much better. That's the point I'm making. Shields weren't much, much, Shields wasn't much better. And bearing in mind, you've got a woman in front of you with her hands down, who's closing the gap. How can you not look? How could it not be obvious that you're outboxing them in that sense? You know what I'm saying? And most of the shots that Shields threw, I couldn't believe the commentary. The commentary for me was shocking. Everything Shields... I didn't hear them talk about Marshall once. It was, oh, Shields is amazing. Oh, oh. I just didn't see that. And besides, for me, boxing's about effective work. So, for example, effective work is work like, oh, he hit him and it caused a reaction. Yeah? Like, oh, damn. We've all seen it before in fights. Someone's coming forward. They get hit with a big shot, and all of a sudden, for example, AJ. AJ versus Usyk. AJ goes in there, he gets popped in the mouth, and all of a sudden, he don't want to know. So my point is, all the people gassing shields up here, what did her work really do? Because Savannah was on her ass the whole night. Savannah had her pinned in the ropes for half the fight. That's what I saw. I don't know. Put it this way. Put it this way. How many times did you see Savannah Marshall's back against the ropes? In fact, the only times I saw Savannah Marshall's back against the ropes was probably three occasions where Marshall had, had pushed her back and then after a referee breakup or something like that, it, it, it kind of had rotated. 90%, in fact, never once, never once did I actually see the fight go from both fighters in the centre of the ring to Marshall with her back against the ropes. I didn't see that once. Yeah, I didn't see Shields apply pressure and if I'm wrong I'd love to see the I'd love to see the evidence show me the evidence of Shields pushing Marshall back not once again how can you win a fight when you didn't push her back once which tells me your shots weren't bothering and equally the opposite can't be said yeah because if like in my mind boxing's a boxing ring is a balance of authority yeah in the middle we both respect each other equally if it keeps going ding, 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 i.e. Shields keeps going back, Shields keep going back, who's scared of who? And who's doing the damage here? Because, okay, why be, but, but, but Marshall wasn't doing nothing. Well, if she wasn't doing nothing, why were you the one going back? Because in my mind, yeah, well, categor- not, not in my mind, categorically, 
if you if Marshall wasn't doing nothing, why aren't you walking foot through her then? I don't get that. Why wasn't it Marshall's back against the ropes the whole night, innit? Wait a minute. So who has the authority here? Who was scared of who? Oops. Yeah? You can't win a fight, in my opinion, when you're the one every single time. 99.9% .9 of the exchanges. Marshall Shields was the one going backwards. That for me is a no-no, especially in the UK. I was shocked. I couldn't, honestly, I couldn't believe. It. I, 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 maybe I need to watch it back again, man. But I'm telling you now, I had it seven-three at worst case. I had it seven-three worst case for Marshall. That's how I feel. I'm sorry. That's how I feel. Bottom line. Bottom line. I didn't see all this, this kind of slickness. I saw someone on the ropes, and yeah, there was points where Shields kind of fought back. But that's what you're supposed to do. How, how, how could you not do that? You're pinned against the ropes. Yeah, you're going to throw some shots back. And some may land. But this fight this fight clearly wasn't... It wasn't like there was loads of clean shots from either woman. And that's why it goes down to the more nuanced parts. If there's a fight, yeah, where someone's clearly just battering someone. Then obviously the fight goes to them. But when it's... Both of them were doing scrappy work. Both of them weren't landing much. Truth be known. Because Marshall was slipping and sliding in a similar fashion. Neither of them consistently, round after round, were landing heaps of shots. So it comes down to the other elements, for me anyway. And there's no... I don't know, man. There's just no way. There's no way. Shields out and out won this one, for me anyway. That's how I feel. I think the fight, worst case, was a draw. And that's not because I'm biased. Has, listen, if Shields had been in there, yeah. For example, watch. That's what I mean. The reason I've told, I've said it before, but I don't score rounds holistic. Oh, sorry, I don't score rounds in a typical fashion. I score things holistically. Now, what I mean by that is, list, is this. Listen, Shields. Watch all of Shields' other fights. Show me another fight, yeah, where you've seen her on the ropes the whole night. Normally, Shields is actually the one in the centre of the ring. Setting pace. Why is that? Expl explain to me. Explain to me why of all the nights, tonight was the night, Shields couldn't do nothing but, but back up. Explain that. Against Hammer, Shields went in there and set her authority. Is it a coincidence? Tonight was the first night, all of a sudden, Shields don't know how to go forward. Nah, nah, don't. And that's what I mean. That for me don't work. That don't work. How can you fight a whole way for your whole career? All of a sudden now, you're on the ropes. Nah, man. You lost the fight. Bottom line. You can't win a fight backed up and pinned on the ropes, in my opinion. Yeah, and, oh, but why be this, but why be that? Listen, if you, if you was doing so much effectiveness, why weren't you pushing it back? That's the bottom line here, yeah? If you're licking someone's head off, and they're feeling it, it's, it's, a, it's a physiological fact here. If you hit someone, and they feel it, they go backwards. That's just how it works, even Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was the most foremost, most premier front foot fighter, yeah? And guess what? He gets in there with Van der Holyfield, and he going backwards. Oops, yeah. What are you telling me? Oh, but why be um Mike Tyson winning that fight? Okay, <laughs> I bet you winning that. You can't. It, it don't work. Yeah, the most foremost pressure fighter had to concede going backwards. That's because he's losing the fight. That's how it works, in my mind anyway. Yeah, I ain't saying that. Again, Shields, no, Marshall lost his fight. If anything, Shields didn't win it. I didn't see all this. Everyone, the way everyone was gassing it up. I didn't see it. Marshall really needs to be kicking herself because it could have been a lot more. I, I, to be quite honest with you, I, I saw. To be honest, Shields was worse when I think about it, actually. For example, a key element going into it we was all talking about was Shields' triple jab. How many jabs did we see tonight? None. Do you know why? Because she was on the ropes. Oops. Yeah. In fact, I don't remember seeing one triple jab the whole night. Why is that? Why is it? Clarissa Shields, who's renowned for her jab, didn't use it the whole night. Because she couldn't. Because her ass was pinned on the ropes. Oops. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. The jab was a key element Shields has. She couldn't use it. Because Savannah had her pinned on the ropes. So, all these little nuanced parts. When you add them up, how are you winning the fight? You weren't even able to use your best weapon now again. Marshall wasn't able to exploit that. The jab was taken out of the game, but... The Fury, Peter Fury game plan was poor, extremely poor, extremely poor, and I, I was surprised 
Not only was the game plan poor, I again. What happened to trying different dimensions? Trying different things? Even if they believed. Because again, I, watching the fight for me, I thought they were being relatively su successful. But even that, even being the case, why not try different things up? Like for at least a round. Okay, Sav. Let's go Tyson Fury 2015 mode. Let's give it some different looks here. Just try it out. You just never know, do you? You never know what's going to resonate the most in a fight. I guess Peter Fury and Sav banked on their hands being too heavy. And that's fine to do that, but the execution was so poor. If I'd have been in the corner with Sav, I didn't hear Peter Fury say, calm down, calm down, and start putting single, not single shots, but start putting twos and threes together. I don't want to see you throw more than three shots. You go in there, you pick your shots, and you dig, and you reset. You don't need to be in there, slipping, sliding, and, and throwing your... Slapping your hands around. It did not look scrappy from both... Well, I, ex I expected Shields to be scrappy. Shields is scrappy. That's how she punches. I'm disappointed with Savannah. Who, for some reason, lowered her level. She fought... She fought like Shields, in that sense. Just slapping on the inside. Just slapping away. And I think it comes down to, psychologically, she wanted it too much. And that she was so desperate to get her hands on her. She was over Evan. Just slapping... And that the worst thing you can do is slap, because then your head's in the air, and you you know what I'm saying. When you throw twos or threes, naturally there's less time in between your shots. And the good thing about throwing less shots is, well, in my opinion, if you're training a fighter, after you put two or three shots out, you want to be doing something: move your feet, move your head. Etc. But the problem is, when you're in there and you're just looking at the target and just trying to touch it, it looked to me like Savannah backed up to the ropes. To be, to be honest, did a great job. I expected Shields to be a lot more effective with her jab. I expected to see a lot more of Marshall coming forward and Shields' jab potentially causing problems. But for whatever reason, there wasn't no jab tonight. So Marshall did all the hard work. She closed the gap. But do you know how rare it is? To, to consistently get someone against the ropes. That's the premier position. You watch Canelo, yeah? Watch Canelo versus Plant. Or Canelo versus anyone, really. Any of the lower level kind of guys. What do you notice? Canelo spends 30 seconds closing distance and getting someone to the ropes. At which point, he's able to put a, a, sing, a double or a big combination together. Yeah? When your opponent is against the ropes, that's a premier position. And the reason I say that is, is because Marshall did all the hard work. She closed the gap, had got her multiple times per round. It wasn't a case of Canelo. Shields spending a, a large portion of many rounds against the ropes. At that point, you've done all the hard work, in my opinion. Now, it's about letting, you, letting your hands go in a succinct fashion. You've taken the risk, you've closed the gap down. Now you really should be having fun. I'm putting uppercut and a hook together. I didn't see any uppercuts tonight. Which I'm surprised about. I didn't see normally Savia. Um she'll do the uppercut and then swing the left hook. Again, watch Sav's fights. One of the things that impressed me about Savia was her shot selection and her her limitedness. Her limitedness and shot selection reminded me of a man. Yeah, men, for the most part, you don't see just thrashing. You don't see a man, for the most part, left, right, left, right, like Shields does. You just don't see that. Yeah? Men go in there and they pick two or three shots together. And up until this point, that's what Marshall was doing. So tonight, she closes the gap. Does the hard work. At which point now. It should be great. Now I'm in my element. Instead. Marshall looks at the target. I think she was headhunting way too much as well. We know Shields has got a great head. Head movement. I think Marshall could have been. Just purely invest in the body. Just to completely forget about the head. Or at least say. Okay we're going to throw a three punch combination. Two to the body. One to the head. 
just get that when you're fighting someone who's tricky you want to get the consistency down and i will admit shields to her credit she actually did do more to the body she put a lot more shots to the body in i think savannah's right uppercut and left hook could have been there all night but instead of doing that marshall got her to the ropes and then just started focusing on the target she was just focused on just just thrashing the target i thought what the, and look, i kid you not yeah I haven't seen, if if I'd have seen, yeah, if I'd have seen Savannah going in there and thrashing against her other opponents, I'd have said, listen, the fight's 50-50. And that's why I tell you that ultimately, whatever way you want to cook this, Savannah's choked to some extent. Because she's doing things she's never done before. That is a psychological issue. Um, But there's no other way to cook it here. Savannah did choke, but even having choked... She still, in my opinion, did enough to get a draw. Actually, again, I think she wanted to fight me personally, based on the way I do things. I, I, I don't know, that's just how I feel. But you get her to the ropes, and then you just start going fresh style. Left, right, left, right. And it, was, it just looked like it looked like she was doing this. Savannah did. Well, Martin, listen, whenever Marshall throws a... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Whenever Shields throws a combination, she always thrashing. I couldn't believe the way they've... Um, the, um, people were gassing it up. The commentators, oh, Shields, I thought, okay, no, she's, she's thrashing. And that's probably why, um, unfortunately, that's probably why Shields did win tonight. Because the judges, normally, if Marshall was in there putting her twos and threes together, go back and watch all of Marshall's fights, yeah? She puts big twos and threes together. Tonight, it was like, even when she did throw a two or three, she wouldn't recalibrate. She'd throw a two or three, do some head movement, and then be right there still and try and throw some more. It, it, it was too rushed, too much. Close the gap down, get your shots off, and reset. You don't close the gap down, get your shots off, and then try find some more, and then try find some more, and then that's what it looked like to me. That's what it looked like. When you see Canelo, yeah, very calm, collected. He closed the gap down, gets his work off, and then resets. Closed the gap down, gets his work off, resets. You rarely see Canelo get his shots off, stand, stay right there, and get some more off. Uh, yeah, it's, and that's what enabled Shields to almost punch in between. Punch in between Marshall's sloppy work. I'm going to be honest here. I've been saying... Shields is sloppy. I've been not, Shields is sloppy, bottom line. I'm sorry. As far as inside fighting goes, actually no, I'll give her some credit. Shields did have um, some good single punches. I think she put a few um, uppercuts to the body. But again, the problem is to sit here and say, "Oh, Shields had some good body shots." What effect did they have? How many times did Shields hit Marshall? And it end up in her going backwards. Or it end up in her not wanting no more. Marshall was happy to go forward no matter what. Which tells me you ain't cutting it. Now, people could say, well, why be? Marshalls weren't cutting it. Well, they were. That's why your ass was backed up the whole night. Now, if any of you can show me any evidence of Shields pushing Marshall back to the ropes from the centerfold. I'd love to see it. I didn't see it once. I didn't see it once. I didn't see Savannah Marshall... Um, giving up ground once in the whole fight. There was a few exchanges where Marshall already had Clarissa Shields on the ropes where they kind of rotated that it was like that. But immediately after that, it went back to how it was. The whole night was spent in... It's a bit like football. The whole night was spent in Marshall's half. However, <laughs> almost... Sorry, the whole night was spent in Shields' half. But... the. Sh Marshall couldn't score in that sense. She couldn't. She couldn't score. I think if she'd have gone in there tonight, picked shots. That's how she. Oh, fucking, I'm like, what the fuck? And picked shots. And I'm shocked at Peter Fury. Like I said, where was the adjustments tonight? Where was the adjustments tonight? Like, calm down. Don't. I don't want to see you throw more than two or three shots tonight. I don't want to see it. Yeah. Don't, it's almost like Marshall wanted to fight 
down to Sh Shields' level. Oh, she's thrashing, so I'm going to thrash. And I hate to say it, but that is actually often what we see in women's boxing. In women's boxing, you see one, for example, I mean, who was it? Um, um, Katie Taylor, perfect example. Katie Taylor and other women, when they fight, they get into thrashing battles. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And then the other one goes, it's just a big thrash. That's the worst thing you can do. There's no quality in thrashing. Pick your shots. Make it count. Make every shot count. It's bet You're better off following the Canelo method. Super tight guard. And just getting one big banger off that's heavy. Than you are doing what Savannah Marshall. I'd, I'd have preferred Savannah Marshall, yeah, to go in there, close the gap, the gap down, and just get one off. And then roll out and reset. Close the gap down, get one off, roll out and reset. Close the gap down, get one off. I'd have preferred that. At least then you're giving the judges... That's what Canelo does. Let's be real here. At least then you're giving the judges something... Even if you're hitting the arm. Do you understand? If you're making it clear that you're proper... Especially when you're closing the gap and applying pressure. If you're making it clear that... You're throwing heavy lever... And your opponent's conceding the ground... It's hard for the judges to vote against that. And the fact you're only throwing one or two... Would have meant you weren't there... To be counted so much. If Savannah had a closed the gap, got one or two off, and then got out the back door, and or slipped on the way out, she'd have been a lot more effective than what she did. She closed the gap down, thrashed away, and was still standing there to get countered, and was still standing there. To be honest with you, how many times did we actually see Savannah close the gap, and then disengage? I'm trying to think, very, very rarely did I see Savannah disengage. Again, she wanted it too much. She was so hungry for it. She was over revving and over pushing it. And that's why I do have to hold Peter Fury to account because I didn't hear all of the corner work, but the bits I did hear, he was almost making things worse. Like Tiafimo Lopez's trainer, he was saying things like, "That's it, um, four rounds to go, and let's g her up." That's not what she needed. She needed some calm and some cool and collectiveness in the corner. Calm down. You're not being effective thrashing. I don't want you to be doing what she do. And she thrashes. We don't thrash here. The fuck? And it pissed me off that the key analysis I made before the fight was, yep, Marshall hits too hard. She puts shots together like a man. Next thing we know, she's in there. And the bottom line, at the end of the day, man, the occasion got to her. Whatever way you want to cut it, the occasion got to her. And I guess on that basis, I have to salute Shields. Because Shields, she did what she normally does. I'm not, I'm not that impressed with it, but still. She, in the day, she did what she normally does. And you have to salute that. Because that means she held her held her head. Marshall, she, she didn't, I'm sorry, but she didn't do what she does. Because tonight, Marshall was over-aggressive. She normally, again, Marshall, goes in there, gives gives it a few looks, and closes the, closes the distance, gets her thing off, and then resets, and does the same again. That's how it's supposed to be done. Yeah? There's no rush. It's almost like Savannah wanted to get her out of there in the first round. That's how it felt to me. Savannah wanted to get her out of there in the first round. And unfortunately, in fact, a great example, a great learning lesson of how bad it can go. This fight reminded me, perfect example actually, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad I thought of this one. This fight reminded me of Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosas. Yeah? Tio went in there and just thought he was going to knock this guy out in the first round. He went in there and it, bear in mind, remember, remember the man, Tiafimo, who beat Lomachenko. Yeah? Look at the class there. He was strong, he was big, and he was dominant, but but in, in, a, in a constructive way. It's almost like Tiafimo fell in love with that element. I'm too big, too strong. And actually, same thing can be said for Marshall. I think Marshall... Bought too much into the power. And what made her great in the past. What made her land them shots. What made her stop them women. Wasn't throwing 10 shots at once. It was the methodical breaking down. Normally. I'm, listen. Against lesser fighters. I've seen Savannah Marshall go in there. The first round normally. She don't do nothing. The first round she goes in there. She flicks her lead hand out. She gives, gives it a few looks. She did, puts a few feints in. And that's it. Tonight, 
straightforward. And in the first round, that was the round when Shields started doing the the, flur- the flurries. That's when Shields started thrashing. Because Savannah was basically on top of her. And in all fairness to Shields, Shields did what she had to do in that moment. Yeah, Shields took the um, um, Alexander Usyk approach in as much as when someone gets on you, you fight back. And that's right. Unfortunately, Shields weren't do- it weren't effective fighting back because Marshall didn't go nowhere. Yeah, when AJ got popped, when Usyk fought fire with fire, AJ broke down. And that's why I believe this fight was a draw because Marshall didn't go nowhere. She was still there and still coming forward. And I don't know what honestly. I don't know what the judges. Were, I, I don't know what the judges were watching. I think there's been a lot of controversy in boxing. Although, I mean, the whole. And in fact, at the start of this video, yeah, I told you I feel there's some BLM about this result. But thinking about it, what 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 about the Mayor versus Baumgartner fight? There's no way Baumgartner won that fight. You can't win a fight running backwards the whole night. And people say, people love to get excited about pot shotting. Oh, well, she caught her. Well, yeah, you caught someone who was doing all the work. That don't have as much credence, if you get what I'm saying. Now, fair enough. If a fight's back and forth, you go forward, I go forward, then yeah. Fair enough. But when someone's consistently the one pushing the pace and pushing it forward, it goes, in my opinion, pot shotting goes against you. Because anyone can look good when someone else is is doing the hard work, in my opinion. That's not rocket science. He's coming forward and and you're picking and choosing when to punch. That could only you could only you can only do that when someone else has assumed the risk. You can only do you can only pot shot when someone else has has tried to make a fight of it, if you get what I'm saying. And that's why I don't hold yeah, like I said, counter punching is is good here and there, but for the most part, f- boxing's a a battle of the um, a battle of the what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, it's a battle of the of the willpower of the wills. Now, for example, Tyson Fury beat Vladimir Klitschko. Why be? But uh, Fury was going back all night. The difference is, Vlad weren't committing, was he? In fact, it's a great example. A great example, oh, why be, well, you said Fury beat Klitschko, but, so why didn't Shields beat Marshall? Well, Klitschko, unlike Marshall, wasn't prepared to actually break the distance down. Do you understand? Marshall was doing all the hard work, committing, getting on top of Shields. Vlad was happy to sit at mid-range and lose. Do you understand? That's the key difference here for me. The whole night, Klitschko never wanted to assume the risk and take the kind of, um, Take the initiative to take more risk. In fact, Klitschko, that fight's a perfect example of what I mean. That's why I reward aggression so highly. Because it's hard to do. And if it wasn't, Klitschko would have come walking forward the whole night, wouldn't he? Why is it Klitschko, the great, one of the greatest fighters of all time, allegedly, why couldn't he close the gap against Tyson Fury? Because he didn't want... Because he didn't want to assume the risk. Therefore, when fighters do want to do that, are prepared to do that... Like um, Michaela Mayer, like Savannah Marshall, that gets held in the highest esteem to me. Because anyone will tell you, someone coming forward is easy easy to hit. Unfortunately, though, it does have to be said. I did mention it earlier. It's unfortunate that Marshall didn't give different looks. I'm shocked that the size difference was just astronomical, astronomical. I don't know why. Peter Fury, or maybe Peter Fury, that's the thing. For me, I think Marshall won seven rounds. So it might be the case that Peter Fury just thought they was winning the fight. Which is, in my opinion, fair enough. That's, that's a possibility. So, but I can't understand why, at least initially, Marshall didn't think, you know what. And that's why, before this fight, I was giving Peter Fury a lot of, kind of, credit for being a great strategician. Strat addition, whatever that word is. Yeah, a great strategist. I thought, yeah, yeah, he can have a, a wide-ranging, multiple-faceted plan. Marshall going to go in there and use her range and, and basically box and jab her head off. And then let Marshall, sorry, let Shields run in. Do you understand? When you're, the ta- when you're so much taller, let the smaller fighter do the work. I'm so, so surprised. 
that they that wasn't at least a game plan. Yeah, we're going to stay long because Marshall's got the height and she's got that kind of herky jerky style. If she'd have been in there, herky jerky and fainting and popping a jab out, you know what I'm saying? At least try that. Let's see how well. In fact, this really highlights what I'm saying. Let's see how well Shields. It's all well and good people slagging off Marshall. Oh, well, um, Shields was able to pop shot. It's all well and good saying that, yeah, but let's do a bit of a thought experiment here. It's a shame. If, the bad thing is, it's a shame we didn't even get to see it. Because I wonder how well Marshall, sorry, I wonder how well Shields would have done having to close the gap. Yeah, do you understand what I'm saying now? How well would Shields have done having to come forward? Unfortunately, we don't know. Yeah? We don't know how Shields would have closed the gap because she didn't do it any, at all the whole night. But that really, that's not Shields' fault. That's Peter Fury and that's Savannah Marshall's fault. You've got all them attributes and I think ultimately what it comes down to is they just thought they'd be too heavy-handed and I think she could have been as well. But it's like, Okay, we're, we're too big, we're too strong. Apart from the... Yeah, I give Marshall 10 out of 10 credit for the aggression she showed. And the ring dominance. And the ring generalship. But, apart from that... You had the 10 out of 10 ring generalship and uh, aggression. But then, the shots. Uh, it was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? The shots, the shots were just pity patty arm shots. That's how it looked like to me. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm baffed. I'm baffed at what I've seen. But anyway, man, listen, I'm, I keep, I can keep talking about this for ages. End of day, man. Psychologically speaking, Shields won the fight. Physiologically speaking, Marshall won the fight. Yeah, if if there's a battle of the minds, it has to be said. Shields turned up, and Marshall. For a way I haven't seen a fight in God knows how long. I haven't seen it. Certainly in the last few years, there's no, Marshall hasn't fought like that. I can't get over how how poor her hand game was tonight. Shocked. A key element in my pre-fight analysis was how, how much different. I expected Marshall to have so much more impact with her clean, her clean output. Rather than demonstrating that and keeping things focused and keeping things short and sweet, you don't need if you listen, if you've got a punch ten times, you're not punching correctly. And that's what I've said about Shields for the longest time. If you need to punch ten times in a row, you're doing something wrong, in my opinion. You don't need more than two or three ever. Never takes more than two or three. And guess what? Look at all of Marshall's KOs. What do you notice about them? You don't need more than two or three at once. Instead, tonight, after five years of great work, she goes in there and she over revs it. And she throws shots like a, like any other woman throws shots. Just just, just chasing the target. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? We've all seen it, Katie Taylor chasing the target. It's like they're almost, what's the word? I'm trying to think. It reminds me of them. It reminds me of someone trying to climb up a wall. Yeah? Just going mad. All that finesse which made Marshall great. That's what separated Marshall from Shields. The finesse. The punching finesse. And she ain't showing none of that tonight. But even so, man, listen. Peter Fury needs to take a hard look at himself. I ain't going to lie to no one here. I think the corner work was a shoddy, man. It really was shoddy. There was no real quality there. Whoa, calm, calm your ass down. Yeah, calm your ass down. You don't have to do it all at once. It felt to me like Marshall wanted to do it all at once. Build into the fight. Give it some different looks. Try some different things out. Put some singles in. Put some hard singles. Show me what, what round here did you see Marshall put some big singles in. Put some big singles in and reset. Yeah. Slip, slip. Faint, faint. Close the gap down. Because she was doing the hard work. Marshall was doing all the hard bits. Closing the gap down. Do that. And keep it short and sweet. That's all that Peter Fury needed to say. Yeah. Don't exchange 10 shots at once. That's it. 
Get in and get out. Get in and get out. And that's when you do that, when you get in and get out, it also does a lot for the judges psychologically. Yeah. When you see someone like Canelo, for example, when you see someone closing the gap down, getting big shots off that are impactful, resetting, closing the gap down, getting big shots off, that to the judge's head, it's like, damn, this guy's over time and time again dominating. When you go forward, and you scrap around and you make a fight of it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like Shield Marshall, sorry, was making a fight of it in that sense. Rather than sticking to her core competences, she wanted to fight too much, way too much. She was too. And that's what I mean. Sad in a way because she was. She wanted it too much. That's how it felt to me. She wanted it too much, and she let. End of the day, she let it get the better of her. When it, when it's all listen, when it's all said and done, Marshall let the occasion get the better of her. She was too hungry for it, and it's sad because. It's one thing to choke, like we've seen David Hay choke. David Hay choked against Klitschko. Yeah, he gave it all this and goes in there and shit himself. That's not sad, that's embarrassing, but I feel sorry for Marshall because she went the other way. Yeah, she didn't pull a David Hay, choked because she didn't want it. She choked because she wanted it too much. That's the, that's the worst way to go. And it's sad that, I mean, I'm not sure Peter Fury could have made any difference, but Peter Fury was... He weren't, in my opinion, reading the room. When Tiafimo was, again, Tiafimo goes in there like a bat out of hell. Guess what? He comes back after round one getting knocked down by a man who don't really have no power. Gambosas in that sense. And guess what? His dad's saying, get this guy out of there. Get this guy out of there. Get this bum out of there. What the fuck? Your son's just been put down for the first time by a man who's not a power puncher. And you're telling him to go and over it, over rev it, over rev it some more. Marshall's in there, from what I've seen, and listen, I don't spend every day with Savannah Marshall, but from what I've seen, that weren't, that first round, or certainly the, by the second round, that weren't demonstration of what makes Savannah Marshall great. A recklessness, just, 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 just too much, just too much, calm the fuck down. Keep it short and sweet. It's almost as if Peter Fury's gassed Savannah, Savannah up so much to just like, you know what I mean, it's too I can't really say any better than wanting it too much bottom line want it way too much and it showed, Peter Fury should have been that calm voice in the corner to, to at least try it's Not listen, when someone's in there and they want it and they think, there's no telling even if Peter Fury had said some key things, it might not have made no difference but I can know. Anyway, man, listen. The rematch. I want me personally. I want to see the rematch. I know some people. Uh, I I think the fight is a draw. Truth be known, I think the fight, the rematch needs to happen. Um, and in fact, the last thing I'll say is, I know I've said it already, but I must. It must get off my chest right now. All the bones, all the, all the outline, was there tonight, for Marshall, in my opinion. She just ain't put it together. All the things I thought would be there, i.e. End of the day, man. However way you want to cook this year. When you look at... When you look at how the fight went. Marshall didn't have no trouble with Shields whatsoever. In that sense. There's no moment in that fight yet. Where you see Marshall worried at all. It's, it's actually quite scary. Go back and watch Clarissa Shields all of her fights. Clarissa Shields is normally the one backing people up. She's normally the one dominating. She spent the whole night in her half. We've never seen that done before. Marshall had no respect for her and came straight forward. And that's why I do actually respect um, um, Joe Joyce a lot more. People slag Joe Joyce off. Joe Joyce is methodical, yeah, and accurate. That's what was missing from Marshall tonight. Marshall had the same pressure, to be honest. Yeah, she really did. Marshall had the same pressure as Joyce. She didn't have the accuracy and the methodicalness. That was what was missing. If Savannah Marshall can, had it added, or if Savannah Marshall had calmed down and added that Joe Joyce, Canelo kind of relentless pressure and output, refined, accurate output, Shields is fucked in my opinion. Fucked. That fight was close and Shields Marshall weren't doing nothing with their hands. But for me, next time in the rematch, if I was training Marshall, we're going to go in there with different looks. Let's try the I'm big and long look. And let's let let's at least for one round let Marshall 
Let's at least for one round let Shields try and close the gap. Let's see how she gets on. We're big and tall. We don't need to do it. That's the thing I don't get. Peter Fury, you've got a woman who's huge in there. When you're that big, you don't need to close the gap. It's great if you've got that facet. A lot of tall fighters don't have that ability. A lot of tall fighters, all they can do is run. So it's great that Savannah can get on the front foot, but when you're that big, okay, for a round, normally really the first round, for the first round, let's see how we get on keeping it long. Let's see if we can maintain it with the jab and let her come in. Why don't we pot shot her? Oops, yeah. Because the smaller fighter, he's the one, or she's the one with the onus to take the risk and close the gap. The taller fighter never. Look at Fury versus Chisora, for example, too. Fury vs. Chisora 2 is a great example of how big fighters are supposed to fight little fighters. Or Lennox Lewis. You didn't show me the fight yet where you saw Lennox Lewis walking forward and then just trying to slap away with his... Show me it. Go on. That's what, I'm, that's what I mean when I say I'm shocked about Peter Fury. And I'm sorry, but, but everyone's, a lot of people, yeah, suck Peter Fury off for being this great trainer. But I'm sorry. What, 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 was, you doing in, what was you doing in camp all this time? Yeah? That Savannah Marshall marching forward, yeah, with relentless aggression that's a second half of the fight strategy in my opinion that's a all else has failed to start off with every tall fighter when you're so much bigger as she was every tall fighter's game plan should be their next lewis tyson fury yeah well, more so more so, listen we know savannah's got heavy hands so fair enough she may not want to be on a tyson fury 2015 kind of thing fine Every big fighter should have a Lennox Lewis in there, yeah? Big, strong, stand-up tool. Savannah Marshall often hunched over, yeah? Use that height, stand-up tool, and get the jab going. Get some authority behind that jab. And let Shields look silly coming forward and pop over the right hand over the top. Do you understand? That's how every... If I was training a fighter, yeah? That's how every, every tool fighter should start like Lennox Lewis. And then, once you've got the control there, once you're nicking the rounds, then you can start experimenting. Okay, we're three rounds up. We've got her under control. Now I want to start for the last 30 seconds of the round. Let me now try and push the front foot and see how I get on. Oh, not doing so well. Back on the back foot. Because at the end of the day, the fight's about winning. Yeah? Now if it works out, you can storm forward, storm in Norman, and get her out of there, so be it. But to come out there in round one, like that, the super poor, um, super poor strategy. And the fact that Peter Fury hadn't trained and hadn't signalled any adjustments or any different looks was shocking to me. It was one, it was one strategy the whole night and really it was a poor strategy. It was a poorly executed strategy because, like I said, Joe Joyce... Yeah, and to be honest, Joe Joyce's guard could be better, but still, Joe Joyce, at least his hands, Joe Joyce's hands sit at kind of shoulder height. I mean, I'm sorry, man, I haven't seen it before. I said it at the start of the video. Show me who you've seen marching forward with their hands down. Who the fuck, who does that? And up until tonight, Savannah Marshall didn't even do that. Do you understand? Savannah Marshall wouldn't just walk forward pressing in her other fights. She'd go in there, give it different looks and kind of edge forward and work forward. That's how you're supposed to really cl close the distance. Marshall was in there. All that trickery, all that kind of slickness, it was rushed. Normally she's, I've watched all of her fights. Normally, yeah, she's beautiful to watch. Mesmerising. That's how I felt watching it. Tonight, um, you know what I'm saying? And people will say things like, well, I'm, oh, it's because of Shields. I'm sorry. It wasn't. It wasn't. Tonight, it wasn't a case of, oh, YB. Shields, sorry, Marshall looked bad because Shields took her out of a game plan. I've seen fights like that before. I've seen a fight where another fight has taken them out of their element. This wasn't one of them ones. Marshall took her out herself out of her own element, in my opinion. And that's why I believe Shields won. Sorry, Marshall lost this fight. Shields didn't win it. I don't care what no one says. Shields had the 
Shields had the best fight of her life, truth be known, in that, in that sense. Shields, that was the best of Shields you're ever going to see, in my opinion. And I said, if an average Savannah turns up, she wins this fight. Unfortunately, and I'm just going, not based on biases, I'm going based on what we saw. This was the worst Savannah I've seen, ever. And that comes down to this part. And that's why it's so vital, in my opinion, that Peter, I think Peter Fury egged her up too much. And that's why, really, it, it, was, it should have been so important for Marshall to come out, yeah, and build into the fight. Peter Fury should have made it clear, right, Sav, and especially, like, trainers should be thinking psychologically. Now, we know Savannah's been doing well under Peter Fury, but equally, we also know there has been issues in the past. Yeah? Now, if I'm Peter Fury, I'm going to be thinking, all right, listen, I know Savannah's had issues in the past. We know this is a huge event. It's not my job to assume she's going to be okay and assume she's going to thrive. So let me set a game plan that's going to incorporate and enable her to build some confidence and then enable her to build into the fight. The worst thing you can do for someone who's got psychological jitters in the past is to send them in there, roared up and just walking forward into shots. Who wants that? How How is walking into shots going to help anyone? It's not. And she, Savannah was fucking huge in there. Peter Fury should have said, listen, Peter Fury's whole training camp and whole game plan should have been, we're going to break this fight down into two round segments or even three round segments. The first two rounds, we're tall. Look at the size of us. We're tall and we're strong. Yeah? Let Shields take the centre ring. Let Shields... Not take the centre ring. In fact, no. Holding the centre ring is fine, but let Shields take the initiative. Yeah? I don't want you committing. All I want you to do is use your length and use your size. Keep the jab out. Keep her at distance. Essentially, Lennox Lewis mode. Yeah? From the first... For the first two rounds, we're going Lennox Lewis mode. Why is that necessary? Like I said, let Savannah build into the fight. Let her get her confidence. After two rounds, Peter Fury could then say, listen, we're two rounds up. That's two in the bag. Shields can't close the gap. And then you build from there. Then you build more aggressiveness in as you build into the fight. As your competence and your confidence grows. You don't go in there. Just I've watched all of Marshall's other fights. That's what I'm so shocked about. Marshall's other fights, to some extent, that's what she normally does. Normally, she builds into the fight. Against lesser opponents, Marshall's performed more professionally. Against lesser opponents, I've seen Marshall for the first round. Just just checking things out. Down that's what I'm that's what I meant when I said about her being like a man. Is that top level male fighters in the first round, they kind of Take a look and get their grips about them. Tonight, she go in there, no looks, straight forward. And then get, oh man, it's, it's really shocking. Really poor. Poor all round, poor execution. But anyway, man, listen. Um, the fight was a draw, bottom line. In my opinion, it's a robbery. Um, Marshall wanted it too much. And that's the end of that. Marshall lost this fight. I don't care what no one says. Shields didn't win it. You can't win. It's impossible to win a fight. In my opinion. With your ass backed up the whole night. You, you just ain't winning in my book. That's how it goes. Simple as that. Yeah. Anyway. Is what it is. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button. Subscribe. And your boy will be back.